This is Eugene Panrutkiewicz on the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a Sony VAIO VPC-S laptop. It's a S-series laptop with a cracked screen, and we're going to show you how to replace it. Now, Sony VAIO laptops, it's a little bit hard to figure out what the part number is and what the series is, so I'll show you a quick way. So most of the time, in the lower right-hand corner of this screen, you'll see a number like this. And it starts with a VPC, then a letter, and then followed by some numbers and letters. So what you want to look for is the letter right after the VPC. So it could be an E, it could be S, or whatever. So in this case, it's an S series laptop. I wish Sony would make it a little bit easier, but they have it, so we just have to deal with it. Okay, so now before we do anything with this laptop, we want to make it safe to work on, and this is doubly important with Sony laptops. We want to remove the battery. If you don't remove the battery, you might permanently ruin the laptop. So we, there's two levers here one that says lock, we slide it away from the locking position. And when it says release, we tilt it up after we slide the lever to the release position, and then we take the battery out. Now that the battery is out, the laptop is safe to work on. Okay, the next step is to show you which tools we're going to use. We're going to use an electronics screwdriver with a PH1 bit. PH stands for Phillips, and 1 is the size. We also have a smaller PH 0 bit, just in case. We have a pair of tweezers to remove screws. And we also have an exacto knife with a pointed blade to remove the rubber screw covers. So the first thing we do with this laptop is remove the bezel. That's the plastic frame that goes around the screen. In order to remove the bezel, you need to remove the rubber screw covers. There's four of them right here. And we use the X-Acto knife for that. Okay, so we take the X-Acto knife and remove the rubber covers. And we put the rubber covers right next to the screws so that we don't lose them. Like so. And there's four of them. That's three. And there's four. All right, now it looks like these screws are smaller. So we're going to use the PH0 bit to remove the four screws now. One. And we keep each set of screws in its own pile, so when we put the laptop back together, we don't confuse which screws go where. This one is a little bit harder to get to, but if you do it at an angle, you can get to it. And the same right here. I need to use a little bit of force to get it started, and after that it should get going. Try not to strip it, then you have to take the whole laptop apart to get to it. Okay, now once we remove the screws, we can snap the bezel off. And the way I like to do that is put my fingers on the screen side, my fingertips on the screen side, and gently start lifting up the bezel and listen for the snapping sounds. Now some people that think that's the adhesive, it's not. It's little clips, little plastic clips on the inside that snap on and off. So we go around the screen and snap it off. If you get stuck at a place, you keep going to a different place where you don't stuck, get stuck at and come back to that place. So we keep going. And then we go to the bottom. Bottom, it's a little bit harder to snap it off, but we keep doing it. 
like so, and then it comes off like that. That was fairly simple. So we put the bezel to the side and we look at the screen. Now this screen here, it's called a slim type of LED screen because it's thinner than a normal screen. And in a normal screen, it's not into the metal mounting brackets with screws that go into the side of the screen. But since this one's so thin, the screws go on top like this. So this actually makes the job easier for us. And so we remove the screws. Um, there's one trick here. There's a couple of screws hiding behind the tape. So there's some tape here that we need to lift up. We lift up this tape and we put it to the side. And there's some tape here. And we put that to the side. So this screen is held on to the screen assembly by four screws. And the next step is to remove these four screws. And once again, once we remove them, we put them in a separate pile. When you do this, keep the screen assembly tilted back so when you remove all the screws, the screen just doesn't fall forward on you. That would not be good. So let's switch hands. I'm learning to be a lefty to show the ankles better. And almost there. Okay, now that the screws are removed, we slowly tilt the screen forward and we'll see what's happening behind the screen. And we see that the webcam cable has some adhesive that's stuck to the back of the screen. So we lift that up and then we see what's going on here. The, there's a tape securing the webcam cable here and then there's the connector here. So what we're going to do is use our tweezers to lift up the tape for the webcam cable so we can have better access. And now we can see the connector. Okay, what we want to do with this connector, it's a little bit tricky. So one option there is cable going to here. And what I think I'm going to do is disconnect this cable so we can have a better working angle. Okay, use the tweezers. I'm not sure if we can get a good angle. I'll use the tweezers to pull it out. Maybe you see your nail. Work this connector out. Okay, now we pull this cable out, we have better access to this connector. So what we want to do next, there's some adhesive tape on top of this connector. We want to remove this adhesive tape, like so. Use your finger fingernails, or you can even use the exacto knife to lift it up. Remove this connect this tape. And once the tape is up, we slide the connector backward and we remove it. Okay, before we go any further, the biggest source of problems that I see when people connect a new screen at home is they don't connect this type of connector properly. So I'm going to show you how to do it properly. When you put it in, you you won't hear, but you'll feel a small click when it's properly inserted. So I'm going to put it back in. I felt the click, and then let's get a close up of what it's supposed to look like when it's properly connected. Sometimes this works, sometimes it doesn't. Okay. So we got a good focus. This is what the connector should look like when it's properly connected. You don't see a seam between the two sides of the connection. So it's totally solid there and it's engaged all the way. So pause the video right there and make sure your connection looks like this. All right. Next is we're going to talk about the screen. Remove the connector. Let's take a look at this screen. This is a 13.3 inch LED screen. Why is it not focusing? There we go. It's a 13.3 inch LED screen and it's a slim screen and the connector's down here. Let's take a look at the part number. The part number is CLAA133WA. 
zero one a that's a lot to remember so write it down c l a a one three three w a zero one a now when you do get this screen in most likely it won't be the exact same part number but it will be compatible so what you need to look for is it's a swim screen and the connector is in this location now uh, we at screen surgeons also sell the screen for the Sony S series laptop and what you get with us is free email technical support when you do the installation and we also have a compatibility guarantee so in case we ship you the wrong screen uh, we'll take it back at no charge and we'll ship you the right one at no charge okay to buy a screen from us go to screensurgeons.com and click on buy a screen and then there will be a short form for you to fill out Okay, so when you're ready to put the new screen back in, you insert the connector like I showed you, put the screen back, and put the four screws back in, put the two pieces of tape that cover the screw back on, snap the bezel on, and put the four screws in, and put the screw covers in, and that should be it, and you should be ready to go. And once again, my name is Eugene Panrikovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc. The name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much, and good luck.